Good afternoon, everyone. Um, I have been gone for a little while, at least from posting things on, on YouTube and on my blog for a while, but um, I am back at it. Um, and what you're seeing on the screen there um, is a new level that I'm working on. Right now I'm just sort of uh, prototyping, laying it out um, before I put any embellishments in or whatever, but um, I actually um, started using this scene as a place to, just because it's so bare and there's not a lot going on, just seemed like a good place to start trying to figure out some things that I've been wanting to figure out. One of the problems that I've been working on is the camera. Um, because this is a virtual reality game, having a standard camera that you would normally have in a video game doesn't work very well. A lot of people get sick from it. I don't, but a lot of other people do. Um, and so I, I mean, I've copied the game Lucky's Tale, um, or rather been heavily inspired by it. I haven't copied it per se. I mean, in some instances I have, but uh, those things will likely be changed when the game's done. But uh, just for development purposes, in a lot of respects, I have copied some things from that game. Um, and one of the things that I always wanted to do was their camera. Um, and they said they've spent a lot of time working on their camera, so theirs is probably far more complicated and exact than mine, but I have gotten a reasonable approximation to what they did, and it actually was a lot simpler than what I had going on before. I think I had like three separate scripts before and a whole bunch of different objects that uh, that the um, that the camera w was looking at and rotating around and stuff like that. So, um, but one of the things that I did is, and I'll load it up here so that you can have a look. One of the things that I did is I got rid of uh, the ability to rotate the camera um, around the character. Um, so. I'm having some really weird issues in my right eyeball here. On the right side of my screen. That's weird. Anyway, um, so now what the camera does is it slowly, you know, it kind of, the character can walk away a little bit and the camera will slowly catch up. Like this. See how it just kind of settles in there? Doesn't follow too quickly when he jumps, which hopefully will uh, reduce some nausea in people who are susceptible to it. However, I suspect that if you're very susceptible to nausea, you still probably won't want to play this game. So, um, so I, I did that, and I was actually pretty happy with myself because it was the first script that I have written, I think, without having to look back at another script that I had written before off of a tutorial or that I didn't go directly to a tutorial to get. So I was like, this is what I want to do. This is what it has to do. I think I have enough knowledge now that I can piece together a script to do it. And that's precisely what I did. Um, so I was quite happy about that. That, that was pretty exhilarating for me. Um, so after that victory, I'm like, well, let's work on a few other things. Um, if the camera is going to be this way, Oh gosh, I'm gonna have a seizure from the way this. Is. Okay, I'm gonna try to look at my screen here. So, because the way the the rift is going, <laughs> um, I think I need to update my drivers. But anyway, um, so I'm gonna have to look back in there in a second to show you p a part. But um, okay, so sorry. After that victory, I decided. Um, first of all, I realized that not being able to rotate the camera sort of limits things in a certain way. Um, and again, one of the ways that Lucky's tail got around that was any branching pass or whatever off of the main pass. So basically the idea is always moving forward, never moving backwards, like never turning around and coming back. So we're back to like the days of NES Mario where you can only go the direction you're supposed to go and you can't go back. Technically you can go back in, in this game. Um, and if you have a swivel chair, it won't even be that hard. But if you're just sitting facing forward and you don't want to turn around, um, you don't want to crane your neck at an impossible angle, then um, 
then I've, I've got teleporters in it. And I'll show you them in a minute, but I don't want to have to walk past these guys first. So another thing that I thought that I wanted to do, um, and it's not finished yet, but, um, and once again, this was another script that I didn't really have to go to a tutorial for. I just kind of pulled it together. But so first thing I do is I have a ray cast. So basically an, like an invisible laser beam shooting out of the camera, which basically is my face when I'm in the rift. And when I look at the pig, you see he lifts up off the ground. That lets you know that you're looking at him, right? And then um, I don't have a map to the controller yet, so it's on the keyboard. But if, I, if I'm looking at him and I press E, then I pick him up. Then right now I have it mapped to R and F to go in and out. And wherever I look, he looks. And I thought there's some neat possible game things that you can do. Like if, you know, uh, the, the frog can't. You know, he needs to press a button way up here, but he can't get up there. Well, then you pick up an object, you put it up there, and you drop it down. Right now, my dropping down looks like this. Uh, where's the button? There it is. <laughs> so I have to work on that a little bit. But um, See? You throw it. And that's actually kind of fun. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. That's, a, that's pretty fun doing that. But... Um, so that opens up some game possibilities. There's also the possibilities of, you know, doing that on crates and then being able to stack crates to create new ways to go, things like that. Um, so some of the stuff that I'm doing is actually opening up new avenues of gameplay and actually making the game fun to play, which is something that was sadly lacking in the other versions of the game that I've had so far. Um, now, right now, his jump is way off and everything, the scale of the level is all different, so um, that's all got to be sorted out. But, okay, so here's where what I was talking about earlier. I've made it to the top of this mountain, and if I want to go backwards, I have to walk towards my camera. I have to look down. You know, this part's actually not that bad. Um, there's one up there, which you can see it branching off the side. That's a little bit worse. But... And, and again, this is not finished. This probably won't even be here when this level is done. But um, but what I've done is I've made these teleport pads. So you walk onto them, boom. He teleports down here. The camera goes to join him because that's what the script tells it to do. And then you continue on, right? So same as in Lucky's Tale, I've had the teleport destination be the point of decision. Um, and if you're wondering what this line is down here, you can see it when I catch up to Lucky here. Or not Lucky. <laughs> I keep calling him Lucky. Uh, Tad or Fish or whatever the heck his name ends up being. Um, so that path down there is letting me know what direction the camera's pointing in. So that when I'm in Blender modeling the level, I can make sure that I don't do anything that twists too wildly out of that direction, right? So that it doesn't become uncomfortable to head in that direction. Like if I suddenly put a path that branched off here and went that way, well, first of all, if it was just a tunnel or something like that, then he would probably go behind the wall and I wouldn't be able to see him. The camera would be outside the wall, he'd be inside the wall. I'm going to write a script that would fix that, but at the moment that's what's going on. So basically, what I'm, basically I'm just the way that I've done the camera makes it so that certain constraints are in place when I'm designing a level. I can't just do whatever I want anymore. And unfortunately, unless I figure something out, it probably means the level that I was working on isn't going to work anymore. Um, but I've always had the idea that I'm going to make three or so levels um, and put them up and let people decide which they like the best. I mean, nothing says that I have to have the same camera in every level either, right? So, okay, so here's a good example. Um, so walking back, if I, if I crean my head, this is, this is what I see without getting uncomfortable. So I actually have to turn my chair to see where I'm going. And even then, it's not great. Because the camera is always trying to be right here. Right? So when I walk this way, it it doesn't get as far, 
you know, behind him when he's walking towards the camera as it does when he's walking away. So that's what the teleporters are for. It takes you back to the point of decision where you split off and then you continue moving on. So that is what I have been doing. And I'm going to take this rift off my head before I have a seizure. Um, in case you're wondering, because I don't think it's happening on the screen, what's going on is like really, really bad black flickering. And it seems to have started when I updated my um, um, I've the, having a brain fart. I can't remember what it's called, but uh, anyway, um, runtime. Uptime the ru updated the runtime on the uh, Oculus Rift. So um, I've seen people suggest that I might need to update my graphics card drivers. So I'll be looking into that after this because that was pretty unbearable. So um, anyway, uh, yeah. So that's what I've been doing, um, and uh, I am quite happy with the way things are going at the moment. So. Thank you for watching, and uh, have a good one.